Okay, my family is plotting against me. I can hear them. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone to our April leadership call. I as I was editing the uh, slides from last time, there was a snowman, and so I'm glad that we are not posting pictures of that anymore. Uh, for those of you that suffer through the the Midwest winters with me. Um, so if you're new to the call, welcome. Uh, you are not on camera, only I am. So uh, I'm the only one who has to be wearing lipstick. No, just kidding. Um, but welcome. I hope you learned something new. I uh, enjoyed teaching you and uh, I learn new stuff all the time by putting together these presentations and teaching others. So uh, I'm very passionate about it and I love uh, helping people. Sometimes I overwhelm myself, but uh, I'm a helper by nature. So um, I just love sharing Avon and marketing. Uh, most of you know who I am uh, in this industry. It's important that you, okay, Eva has underwear on her head, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, in direct sales, network marketing, it's really important that you are marketing yourself, um, especially with social media and uh, the prevalence that people have online. It's uh, really important to uh, keep a good, positive reputation um, because you're also representing your business. Um, so. You have to be careful what you post on Facebook and what you share with others because uh, it could be there forever. So, okay, guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dad. Our ninja is leaving for the evening. <laughs> All right. So um, helpful makeup marketing recruiting tips. I just like to put um, some videos that I suggest for watching. Um, it, it's looking like all of our incentives coming up are, uh, I see you, Cheryl. Um, all of our incentives coming up include personal sales uh, and recruiting. Um, and I would imagine pretty soon they'll also involve the online portion of getting online sales. Um, so to get you into the habit of just always building those three areas of your business, um, make sure you're focused on that, even when there aren't incentives going on. And then when the incentives uh, come up, you're already a step ahead and already consistently building those three areas of your business. Um, I do want to announce that the upcoming April boot camp uh, will be my last one until further notice. <laughs> uh, I do not want to commit myself to those trainings over the summer because it is uh, a lot of work. I do enjoy it, but um, again, it's a lot of work and I don't want to bog myself down for the summer. So um, I will still be coming out with free tips and videos and helpful stuff for you guys. Uh, but I'm sorry. I know I'm not going to. Um, keep on with the boot camps right now. Maybe when the weather goes back to cold, uh, I'll do some more. Um, but I like to include some quotes in here. And uh, I have three for tonight. So um, you are in a war. There will be those who argue with you, fight your dream, mock your passion, and seek to stop you. So you want to rise up. Um, you know, as uh, women, as Avon reps, we are in a competitive business, uh, whether we want to be or not. So there's always that person that's going to step out and, and make you feel bad or kind of try to put you down. Um, but it's so important to keep your positive attitude and continue being a leader for those that are looking up to you. Um, sometimes, you know, it gets discouraging and you feel like the world's against, against you, but it's important that we stay positive. Um, and even if we're doing things differently, whether that's in a good or a bad way, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are supporting our own decisions and uh, moving forward 
with our businesses. Uh, you know, sometimes you figure out who your friends are through the good times. Sometimes you figure out who your friends are through the bad times. So um, unfortunately, I, I seem to uh, put people up on a pedestal and always expect like the most out of people. Um, and a lot of times I get disappointed, but <laughs> um, you know, I'm not gonna let that ruin my positive outlook and my attitude in life. So um, they can keep disappointing me and I'll, I'll keep hoping for the best. <laughs> so give yourself some credit. You've got a big heart. You've made it through this far and you are always, always, always stronger than you think. Um, so a lot of times we have to be giving ourselves those positive uh, reinforcement, that positive talk, um, because sometimes our, our own head can be our worst enemy. So um, make sure that you're um, being nice to yourself and complimenting yourself and not beating yourself up. Um, Teresa, I saw your hand raised there. Um, I usually go through uh, the slides unless you have a question about uh, what I'm presenting on now. I try to save the questions for the end, um, but I'll, I'll keep looking into the chat box in case you have something uh, based on the slide we're on. So I posted this uh, on Facebook today. Uh, it's called the iceberg illusion, right? Because uh, a lot of times on Facebook and on social media, people post the good things. Um, and, and you want to be posting those things because you're marketing yourself. You don't want to be on uh, Facebook complaining and whining that you don't have any customers and why does life suck? Nobody's gonna wanna join you if you're talking like that. So a lot of times it looks, <laughs> Cheryl, that is not you. <laughs> um, even though we portray this uh, image of everything being roses and rainbows, um, you know, there's a lot of, of down slopes that we go through, uh, such as, you know, feeling like we're failing or feeling like we're not doing enough. Um, but it's the hard work and the discipline and the dedication um, day in and day out that gives you those incredible results. Um, so it almost looks magical because we don't really share all this stuff that goes on under the surface, um, even though we all go through it. Uh, so Team Momentum is 692 reps strong. Um, Yes, the Facebook groups definitely help um, most times to lift, lift you up. You do have to be careful because sometimes uh, in those groups it can turn into a, a complaining fest. Um, but for the most part, everyone is really supportive and helpful in those groups. Uh, Team Momentum, we are through campaign eight with over 400,000 in year-to-date unit sales. Um, the big goal for 2017 is uh, over 2 million. So um, these are not just magical numbers that I pulled out of the air. Uh, it's based on the increase that we have so far. Um, so we have over $150,000 increase, which is 63%. Um, so I'm hoping that we have a, uh, over a million dollar increase. Uh, so congratulations, we were the number two leader team in campaign eight nationwide, and we are number two leader team um, year to date uh, nationwide. So uh, give yourselves a pat on the back. Um, and for all of you that uh, were on Facebook and saw all of our crazy pictures from Punta Cana, um, I want to share with you, like, this is the reason that I uh, went after President's Council level, because I wanted to earn this trip, um, and you can too. So how you can earn it is through uh, sales levels, reaching President's Council and above. Um, not to be confused with President's Club. Uh, so you have to sell over 110,000 per year, but then you get a free trip for two every, every time you achieve that. Um, and then on the leadership level, executive leaders and above also earn this trip. 
Um, Sierra, I don't know how many leader uh, leaders there are uh, on our list. It only shows the top 100. So I'm not sure how many there are all together. Um, so if you are not on Facebook, I like to always share from my personal life what I'm doing with Avon. Um, if you guys have your hands raised, if you can open up the chat box and uh, ask your questions in there, that would be awesome. Um, so here we go. Here we are at the pool bar. You can recognize Molly and Lee and Marianne Penn um, and Vicki and then JP. So uh, here's another fun group. Um, these trips are a lot about just having fun and unwinding. Um, so definitely try to get on an Avon trip if you can. If you can't, uh, attend your local meetings. Um, and if you can get to these Boss Life workshops, definitely attend those. Um, there's, there's a synergy that you pick up, an excitement that you get uh, from being around other Avon reps and just being in the environment uh, that you bring back and it really helps you move your business forward. Um, it's hard to find that anywhere else. So uh, attend those events. And then Avon is also uh, always very generous in giving us uh, free products before we leave for a trip. So um, that is stuff that you can look forward to uh, as you work your business and uh, try to get to those trips. Okay, so uh, the daily care collection, um, they are going to uh, have it be available for representatives first through seventh campaign to align with the Kickstart program. So that is starting April 18th. Um, I, Patricia, I'm not sure they told, uh, this is the exact slide from the gold leader and above call. Um, so they told us through the seventh campaign. Any information that I present, um, always make sure to double check it before you uh, make a decision based on my information. Um, I don't wanna be the one that, uh, gets you missing your bonus or missing your incentive. Um, so always double check my information. I don't promise to be correct 100% of the time. So um, make sure you double check your information that I share on these calls. Uh, so, uh, okay, welcome and thank you 20 are no longer uh, working. I have not tried them, but uh, that is what we've been told, that those don't work anymore. So instead, we have been given this 10% off your order, um, and there is no minimum order size. This can be used by uh, any customers, so it can be used by your current customers or new customers. Um, they do have to sign in and they can only use it one time. So um, those free shipping labels that I put out there, I'm going to have to update them. Uh, and I would definitely share this code on there to get people to shop on your store. And the reason Avon is getting away from those deep discounts, the 20% the off, um, is to be able to give us more of that commission, be able to give us that 40, you know, up to 40 or 50% um, online commission uh, so that it lines up with our traditional sales. Um, so again, you know, some of the old marketing material that I have out there telling you how to find coupon codes and that um, is not going to uh, really work anymore. They're not going to be out there as much. Uh, I think they're really sticking to this 10% and then um, doing these deals like the a new deal, $10 uh, with your $40 purchase. Um, so harmonized earnings. I see a lot of typing in the chat box and I'm not going to uh, be able to read that right now, but I'll try to answer questions at the end um, to the best of my ability. Okay, so we have some big earnings opportunities with the harmonized earnings. 
Um, so they're simplifying it. So you no longer have to have a minimum $50 order. If you have a $10 online order, you will earn commission on that. Um, so it starts with your first dollar of sale. Um, watches are now part of that. So you'll earn um, beauty and jewelry. Uh, so that would all, you know, beauty would include your makeup, your skincare, um, and then jewelry and bath and body is uh, all going to be full earnings. And then fashion and home is going to be fixed earnings. Um, so you can earn up to an additional 10% for being at President's Club level. Um, so just for fun, I took, uh, you know, my average monthly sales online, multiplied it by 5% because I was earning 45% before. Um, so I'm go going to get uh, over $300 more every month from earning the 50% on the online sales. So I hope it's also, uh, you know, really motivating you to look at your strategy, um, see how you can really boost your sales, both traditionally and online, because a lot of times those are two different customer groups. Um, there's certain people that love shopping online. I'm one of them. <laughs> um, and there's people that still really want that personalized Avon service. So um, look at it as attracting a whole new customer segment um, and not necessarily just switching your customers over. Um, that's also an option if that's something you want to do with your business. Uh, but again, a lot of times it's uh, two different customer types. Um, so I want to talk about the President's Club. Uh, it's a good refresher for everyone um, because we take for granted when we've been in the business a long time um, and we don't bring up stuff like this that's really important uh, when we have new representatives coming in. So these are the different sales levels that you can achieve with Avon. Uh, the numbers here that I've added are your average per campaign if you sold from campaign one to campaign 26. Um, so that's what you would need to average to meet these levels. The biggest uh, perk, um, you can look under your earnings opportunities and the president's program on your Avon to see all the perks, but the biggest one is that you can earn that 40% guaranteed earnings no matter the size of your order for that whole next cycle. Um, so it's super important to make President's Club. Um, if, if you're at one level, I always recommend going for a goal of the next highest level. So if you're at Honor Society, try to get to Rose Circle. Um, so we always want to be improving over our own uh, performance. So another uh, feature of the President's Program is that we earn points for um, sales, recruiting, and then um, also increases. So again, like I said, making sure that you're building all areas of your business um, I highly recommend uh, building traditional sales, online sales, um, and then recruiting, whether that's out in the field or that's online for you. Um, you're really going to make the most money if you have it coming in from uh, different areas of your business. It's going to give you a lot more stability and allow you to be able to invest more back into your business as you grow. Um, so the points allow you to turn them in to get rewards. So uh, I'm not going to talk about it much, but uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff you can turn in to get prizes. Um, you can check your balance and look at all the different prizes in the rewards headquarters. All right, so the recruiting bonus. Um, so. Avon is really enhancing the earnings for representatives. And I think that they are definitely on the right track um, out of, you know, earning more stuff or doing more incentives. You know, I think we would all probably agree that we want to see more money in our pockets. Um, and then that will allow us to 
have more fun and you know take advantage of more of those incentives and stuff uh, when we when our our pockets are lined and we're making more money um, again it allows us to be able to help our team uh, to be able to do more for our customers um, and our team members um, and just be able to invest more in marketing to grow our businesses yay Sarah's on the call all right um, so there is a qualified recruiting bonus. So um, if you're in the Kickstart program, this bonus for you is going to be $50. Um, if you are not in Kickstart, you can earn $20 every time you bring in a friend or a contact um, that is not from Avon and that, uh, wait a second. No, you can, it can be from Avon, sorry about that. <laughs> We're having these incentives where it can't be an Alma source, but um, this can. So uh, if your new appointment submits a $150 order in their first or second order and pays for it on time, you will get that recruiting bonus. Um, and then you also start earning a percentage of their sales uh, right with your first recruit. Um, so that would be 3% sponsoring bonus. That's for the life of the representative. Um, so I'm seeing a really big, uh, nice uh, addition to my check because of these sponsoring bonuses. Um, so the only requirement there is that uh, you have to place at least a $50 order to earn the sponsor bonus. Okay, so then they're also added um, these promotion and mentor bonuses for when you advance in title and when you uh, help your leaders advance in title. So uh, Kim Karpowitz is in my first generation and just advanced to Gold Ambassador. So um, she has earned a bonus the past two campaigns and so have I for being uh, her mentor. So um, there's all different ways to earn money with Avon, I really uh, advise you to take the time to learn these programs um, and work your business. Uh, so many people give up on Avon or, or they blame it on Avon when they're the ones that owe money. Oh, Avon's a scam. You can't make money with Avon. Um, but if they put all that energy into building their business, they would see that you can. Um, so I am saying your success is up to you. Uh, so, you know, use your time wisely and invest wisely into your business um, because you're investing in yourself. Okay, so here's where we have the, the qualified recruiting bonuses, the spon sponsorship, um, and then promotion. So. Uh, you will earn this the first time that you advance to this title. Um, so if you're advancing to Gold Ambassador for the first time, um, you're eligible to earn a $1,000 bonus. Um, you have to perform. Uh, I should have looked this up because I know it's either three or four campaigns. Um, but look at the rules for that because I don't know the details off the top of my head. Um, but then it, it splits it up into four campaigns for you to get the bonus payment. Um, so here's where I wanted to show you uh, where Avon is really investing back into us. Oh, good, Amy. Oh, I'm a proud leader because Amy knew. <laughs> Amy knew the rule. Good. Um, okay, so an extra almost five hundred dollars. Uh, that's in two weeks. So. Um, double that, I'm looking at almost an extra $1,000 that Avon is giving me um, based on these different bonuses. So um, as I share numbers, as I share my success, um, I really hope that you guys look at it as, um, you know, something to motivate you to want to get ahead. Um, sometimes I am hesitant on sharing numbers um, I don't want to come off as bragging or uh, trying to boast or, you know, anything like that. What I'm doing is, is really trying to motivate you um, because when I was not making money in leadership, 
uh, it was seeing stuff like that that really motivated me. So I just want you to know what's possible. Um, hopefully you see uh, that I am uh, really enjoying the financial side of it so that someday, you know, all that hard work that you're putting in today is going to pay off. Um, I like to show this chart because it gives you an idea of uh, how much money you can earn um, and what some of the averages are based on, on titles. Um, now this can completely vary um, because right now, uh, you know, my leadership check is uh, probably over, it's like 2,400. Um, so I'm looking at more of like 5,000 a month at Gold Leader. Um, so this really can vary, but it just gives you an idea of what you can be making at the different levels. Uh, then when you get up here to the executive level, um, I have not experienced it yet, <laughs> but I will let you know when I get there. Um, that's when all that work at these levels, all that calling and hand-holding and helping and working your tail off for little return, that's when it starts really paying off. So um, there's a reason many, a lot of people don't make it to that level because sometimes these levels are not fun <laughs> and they're not very rewarding. <laughs> so if you guys are having trouble, um, I know when I used to look at uh, the leadership chart and all those numbers and the requirements and oh my gosh, it could be so overwhelming. Um, so what I really recommend, if you are not in leadership, don't worry about those titles. Don't worry about sales numbers. Just keep uh, bringing in people to the business. Um, so when you're consistently growing, those numbers will follow. Um, don't get so caught up in the details uh, that you're not growing your business. So um, focus on adding people. Um, try to add at least one team member per campaign. Um, if you want to do more than that, then that's good too. But um, focus on consistent growth. Uh, and then once you're comfortable with that, then you can look at advancing um, and earning more money. Uh, so here is the different phases. Uh, this is already in place here. And then uh, pretty soon they're gonna be paying on the fourth and fifth generation, which is uh, huge. So um, definitely more money coming into the leadership side. Definitely worth your time uh, to build that side of the business. So I just want to say uh, congratulations again to Kim, Amy, and Paulina. Uh, we did not have many title advancements for a long time. So um, I'm really excited for you guys. Uh, keep up the great work. Uh, it's even more exciting to see my team members growing uh, than it is uh, for growth myself. So uh, great job, guys. I'm excited for you. Uh-oh, looks like I cut off one of Cheryl's numbers there. <laughs> Her team did almost 9,000. Uh, Kim's Elite Diamonds, 4,900. Trisha, Amy, and Felicia, great job. Uh, also, congratulations to Cheryl, Kim, Trisha, Leticia, Chantel, and Kim are tied there with nine. Um, and then we also have uh, 56 appointments in April already. Uh, I know some of you guys said the self-appointments were a little bit slower than normal. Um, I have also seen that uh, a little bit less leads coming in in April than there were in March. Um, so don't feel bad. It's, it's not you. Um, but we're doing awesome. 56 appointments. Make sure you work with those team members so that they uh, become an addition and, and they make their kickstart goals so that you make your recruiting bonuses. Um, we have 14 of you who added team members. Uh, so keep up the great work. Uh, leadership is a consistent battle. You can't just add one person um, at a time and then wait for that person to perform. Uh, it's a consistent, you want to always be bringing people in because people are always going to drop off whether you are a superstar leader 
or not. Uh, that's just part of the game. Um, so what can you expect to earn? Uh, so I, I always like to look, you know, way back and it's pretty fun now too, because I can see like where some of my leaders are uh, compared to where I was uh, a few years ago. Um, so I hope this guy, this helps give you guys uh, a gauge of how much you can make. Um, and keep in mind that uh, these unit sales are a lot higher than uh, some of yours will be because of my LABC. So um, unit sales, a lot of that was actually my own store sales. <laughs> so uh, that's why the numbers might look a little off compared to what you have. Uh, but you can see, you know, just 2015, um, I made over 11,000 on leadership for the year. Uh, 2016, over 40,000. So that's almost four times as much in one year's time. So um, again, out of all the areas I focused on in my leaders in my Avon business, I really see leadership as the biggest payoff. <laughs> um, so uh, keep going. If you're getting twelve, twenty dollar paychecks, um, keep fighting. Pretty soon, things will start going and moving without you, and it. It feels like all worth it. <laughs> um, here we go from compared 2016 to 2017. Always compare yourself against yourself. Uh, don't focus on other leaders or um, people in your district. Uh, just look at beating your own past performance. Um, and then here I want to show you uh, how much that lead, that sponsorship bonus is really going, going to be paying off. Uh, this was only the third campaign for getting a sponsor bonus. Um, and it's already going up by uh, almost $60 for the campaign. So um, I would imagine in a, a couple months that'll be up to an extra $500 every campaign. So. Um, Keep going, keep adding on your first generation. Uh, JP always tells me that's where the money is. <laughs> He's gonna be focusing on that first generation. Um, and I recommend you do too, until you feel comfortable with how much money you're bringing in and you can feel comfortable delegating. Um, so the Bigger Better Business Workshops, some of these are already sold out. I've heard good feedback from them, um, that you guys are enjoying them and learning a lot, high energy. Um, yeah, I know most of them are sold out. So hopefully they are going to look at uh, doing more and expanding it. Um, from what I know with Avon, I know they try to do like pilot and introductory things with small groups um, and then they expand it. So if they see positive results, I'm sure that they will look at doing more of these. Um, and maybe they'll do an online version. I know on the, on the Gold Leader call, they said they really want it to be in person, um, but you never know. So um, check it out in case your closest one is not sold out. Um, Rep Fest, I hope you guys are, are registered and excited. Um, I can't wait. I guess there are only 250 spots left. So if you have not registered yet, go do it tonight. Make your plans. Um, a lot of my growth in Avon has come from me uh, taking a chance <laughs> and uh, being a little ballsy, if you will, if I can use that word, <laughs> and committing to something big and then figuring out my way as I go. So um, commit, it could make a huge difference in your, you like that, Sarah? <laughs> I pulled out the word ballsy, yes I did. Um, so make a commitment and figure out how you're gonna get there. Um, I have made some bad choices in my Avon career, but I've made some uh, really big ones that have helped me uh, move a lot faster than, than I would have if I played the safe route. So um, 
go to rep fest and now you can even earn your hotel uh so we are looking at they're hopefully going to get us a pink cowboy cowgirl hat um and it's going to say avon they're going to stay away from rep fest i think so that we can wear them uh, at different events and they are supposed to be finding a pink one so hopefully they uh, can do that so to get that pink hat you need to place a $300 order in campaigns 10, 11, and 12. Um, add a qualified new recruit to that. Um, just one over the three campaigns, um, and you're invited to an inclusive, exclusive, I should say, party. <laughs> um, and then we add one qualified recruit, uh, a across those campaigns, three qualified recruits uh, during that three campaign time frame, you also get the hotel room. So uh, you get all three levels. You guys can do that. Uh, three people in three campaigns. No worries. I know you got that. Uh, you just got to figure out uh, how you enjoy recruiting. Um, I'm not uh, a good prospector. I'm not good at cold calling. I don't like approaching strangers, and I found my way of enjoying to recruit. So you can do it too, you guys. Just figure out where your passion is, um, and the confidence and all of those other pieces will fall into place when you figure out your technique. Um, so this is Rep Fest. Last year, um, lots of fun combined with learning. Um, so out of any Avon events I've been to, um, this was definitely the most fun. It, it involved a concert. Uh, they had a beautiful display of all the products coming out. Um, and one bonus uh, as a RepFest attendee this year is that we will get to be part of the, um, the pilot group who gets to sell health and wellness. Uh, yes. Melissa read my mind. Um, so I, I believe, again, don't quote me, but um, I think that all RepFest attendees will be able to sell it in fourth quarter. Um, that's what we have been told. So uh, that is an exclusive thing for only RepFest attendees. Um, so at this point, you can register for $139. Um, here's what it includes. Uh, there's a Facebook group, so if you don't know many Avon reps, um, get involved in one of those community pages. Uh, get to know people, comment, uh, find a roommate. I, I swear, just like a few years ago, I knew like nobody. So um, don't feel bashful or like shy about coming to one of these. It may be what you need to get you out of your shell. So we have 22 Team Momentum members. Woohoo! I'm gonna start uh, saving my pennies so that we can have some sort of celebration in Nashville uh, as a team. So uh, in Vegas, we got to go out to dinner as a team. Um, I'm definitely going to be planning something and uh, you guys probably can count on getting a little surprise in the mail before we go. So. I, lo I love the events where I get to meet uh, a lot of you that I've never met before. Uh, all right, I'm doing pretty good on time. Um, so there's you know, a few incentives going on right now. Um, Activity Pays is focused on helping um, leaders earn at their achievement level when they have high order placement. Um, so when you have two thirds of your first generation placing a uh, order in campaign seven through 12, you're going to be paid at your achievement level. Um, so that can be confusing if you're not super involved in leadership. So make sure you check out uh, the, the incentive guide and read all that fun fine print on there. Okay, so we have some tickets to Boss Life. If you guys, Team Momentum or not, have uh, earned a prize, share in the chat box. 
what you have earned. Um, I have to say I was a, a, a little bit embarrassed because uh, Scott White, the CEO, said how he watched our family and I was like, oh, another notebook set. <laughs> I think he could tell that I'm not a, a good actress. <laughs> but I am, I am always very grateful for anything that Avon gives to me. Um, it is something that you don't get at any other sort of regular nine to five job. So um, whatever these prizes, incentives are, uh, I am grateful to receive them. Uh, but I, it was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, yay, so you guys are earning uh, gift cards and umbrellas and water bottles. Speaker, um, I earned that too. I haven't gotten it yet, but... Uh, Patricia has a ticket to scratch. You better get scratching, girl. Don't scratch alone. Um, congratulations to Cheryl, Sarah, Cindy, Evelyn, Deborah, Shannon, Kim, Amy. Uh-oh, I have a typo there. Charlotte, Barbara, Cheryl, Kira, Jessica, Jean, Stephanie, Tricia, Leticia, Emily, and Paulina. Um, I was very excited to see how many of you had earned scratch off tickets. So keep up the great work. Um, it's a lot of fun. I, I swear you guys just need to figure out your recruiting groove um, and you will have fun with leadership. I, I never thought I would like leadership and it is uh, now my favorite part of the business. So uh, never say never. Hopefully you guys are, uh, are locked in for Atlantis. Um, I know some of you are biting nails. You're right on the edge. Um, I am hoping and praying and uh, cheering for all of you guys uh, that are close. And I hope everything falls into place so that you earn your spot to Atlantis. Um, Rob and I will be coming with the kiddos, I believe. So um, that should be uh, an amazing trip. Um, and I really hope you guys put everything into trying to get there. Avon puts together some amazing incentives and events. Um, and once you participate in them, you're never going to not want to participate again. Um, so congratulations to all of our leaders who have points on the board. Um, keep building your business. Uh, keep performing over yourself, your past performance. Um, and you can earn everything that you want to achieve with your Avon business. Um, so as leaders, it's really important that we are providing tips and tools and ideas for our team. Um, our team is getting to the point where I feel like I have to uh, put my own sales and online stuff kind of in the back burner to be providing more training material. Um, so. We have our What's New brochures. Those are also known as demo books, and those are posted through campaign 14. Um, this campaign, I made separate videos for sales tips, leadership tips, and online marketing. Um, Rosaline on the trip told me that she doesn't watch my videos because they're always so long. And <laughs> so that motivated me to want to make some like quick short videos with helpful tips for you guys that are short on time. So I think those are uh, the online marketing ones a little over 10 minutes, but the other two are less than 10 minutes. Check them out and I hope you uh, find something helpful in there. Uh, Campaign Central definitely take the time to watch all of those. Um, I also have been trying to provide you guys with uh, sales tools to take advantage of uh, the materials that you're handing out face to face. Um, so when I send out this uh, recording, um, hopefully you guys are all, you will all be on my email list now uh, since you participated in the webinar. So I try to send out um, follow up links and uh, access to these tools so you can use them in campaign 10. Oh good, yay. And it just says Haas, but I encouraged you to sell Avon again. That's awesome. Um, okay, so you also can check out previews of campaign 11 and 12. I hope you guys are coming up with ideas of how you are gonna sell that bug guard. Um, that is one of our best products. Uh, they're deep free. 
They're awesome. They don't stink. <laughs> um, and they work really well. Uh, so a lot of people know us for our bug sprays. So take advantage of that. Yes, do what Sarah's doing and get pre-orders. And Melissa, yes, we can't skip ahead of Campaign 10 because um, all of those fabulous Mark products are being showcased in our brochure. They're going to be in every brochure. There will still be a Mark Magalog, um, but it, Mark is going to be featured in the main book as well. Um, so they're relaunching Mark. Um, and be sure to uh, join my call next week where I'll talk more about products um, and campaigns. Um, so the campaigns last two weeks. Um, Grace, if you're just starting out, uh, I just posted on YouTube uh, a video for new representatives um, to kind of just go over the basics. Um, so definitely check that out if you have time. Um, make sure you're following Avon Corporate on all of their different social media outlets. Uh, it gives you uh, way more marketing content to be able to uh, give out to your customers and your team. Um, and always be looking for those magazine features and awards. Um, people online are intelligent shoppers. They want to know reviews. They want to know uh, if it's been, you know, awarded in Red Book, if it's been featured in the magazines, if the celebrities are wearing it. Um, so those posts are always really uh, high engagement. Um, so the fun thing with online marketing is that you can uh, see the results and see what's most popular, and it can help you make better uh, choices in your marketing going forward. Um, so there's still time to sell for Mother's Day. Hopefully you have your fragrance samples or demos. Um, keep in mind with Father's Day coming up, uh, I think it's usually in June, to um, have samples on hand. Uh, and they, you know, even though they're, they don't seem like they cost a lot of money, um, every dollar that we invest into our business, we should uh, measure whether it's worth it or not. Um, so we want to make our money go a long way. So you may want to buy, you know, a couple full-size fragrance so that you can make um, a bunch of different scent strips for your customers. Uh, that might be a lot more affordable than stocking up on samples. Um, and then also just ask people if they want samples. I would rather someone tell me no and save me the money than take it and then just throw it in the garbage. Awesome. So yes, Samantha is making up baskets. Um, do things that, are, that make you unique. Uh, put your personal touch on your Avon business. Uh, use your manners, which sounds so easy and silly kind of but so many people are are rude they're short-tempered they're not patient they don't provide good customer service so when you're friendly and you follow up and you take care of your customers uh, it can go a really long way um, so be looking for these offers uh, it looks like this is going to become kind of a, a permanent marketing tool for now um, so campaign 9 and 10, uh, you can receive this frightening set for $10 with a $40 purchase. It does have to be out of the same book, so you can't uh, combine an order from 9 and 10 to get uh, the $40. So there are some stipulations that make it a little tricky, but read your guidelines. Um, and then I also learned from Rebecca Ludeman today that you need to make sure that you say the, the right number of customers when it asks you how many customers you've served um, to, in order to get it for the right price. Um, so upcoming in campaign 11 and 12, we have uh, this true color set. So it's gonna be this uh, nice Avon branded makeup bag. Um, a glaze wear and then a blackest, I, I don't remember if it's the waterproof or the regular one, but a, a black glimmer stick. Um, so what Avon is doing here is trying to increase the order size um, and also giving them a sample of one of our consumable products so that hopefully they get hooked on it and they keep ordering it from you over and over. 
So uh, not only do I want you to show that special to every customer that you talk about, talk to, um, also make sure that you're bringing it up when someone already has that $40 order because um, half the work is already done. You just have to ask them if they want to add that to their order. So uh, get used to doing it just like uh, they ask if you want fries with that. Say, uh, would you like this special offer? Uh, it's a, you know, at $38, something like that. It's a $38 value for only $10. Um, so talk it up. You are giving them an awesome value and uh, it, it will be hard for them to turn it down. And if they do, oh well. Um, don't let it make you feel bad about yourself or take it personally. Okay, so I talked about uh, how my list has grown. So, um, you know, we can look at lists. Uh, so if you went out there and purchased uh, just sales leads, you know, from a company and you have no idea whether they're interested in Avon or not, um, I don't even think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> so I just want to give you an example that um, sales representatives look to leads to fill their uh, customers and to fill their recruiting um, needs and wants. I have found people who have raised their hand and said, yes, I'm interested in Avon. Um, and now I'm consistently marketing to them. Um, so I just want to show you how powerful it can be to be collecting those names and that contact information and how quickly you can grow your list. Um, because I just started like really doing um, the, the lead collecting and email marketing um, just in like November of last year. Uh, so this has been really new to me. So I'm excited to see, you know, how the results continue to build. Um, because besides the 10,000 e-customers I have in my web office, um, I've also been able to collect over 14,000 people that are uh, interested in Avon. So they have, have sent in that they want to receive a catalog or they want to uh, receive my newsletter. Um, so I just want to show you uh, almost 6,000 new contacts just since the beginning of 2017. Um, so when we talk about services that um, are outside of what Avon provides, uh, my rule is to uh, you know, only do it if it makes uh, financial sense and if it makes sense uh, to add to your business because we don't want to add extra tools or extra costs that are not going to pay off for us. Um, so let's take a look. Um, I do have some of the programs that I use to build um, my customer base and I think it's helping us close leads now. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these numbers because I know a lot of you do a lot of marketing um, and you don't understand why you don't get the sales. Uh, keep in mind, I have been marketing for nine years, um, but I also had nobody teaching me what to do. Um, this has all been self-learned, uh, things that I've, uh, that I've noticed, that I've analyzed about my own business to try and uh, provide information to my team and to you guys. Um, but in, uh, okay, so Francina is asking, how do I capture that information? Um, so I'm going to get to that in, I think it's the next slide. Um, but I just want to show you, uh, you know, the, the volume it takes to get uh, big results. Um, so between the blogs, between my e-store, uh, I have over 2,000 visitors um, per day. Uh, so in 2016, uh, that resulted in over 1,900 online orders. Um, the average order is, is $43. So um, when we look at online customers, they do tend to spend, um, in my experience, quite a bit more than our traditional customer. Um, so customers in my actual Avon web office is over 11,000. So that has been collected, um, and that hasn't even been. Um, 
because for a long time there, I was not collecting my face-to-face -face customers' contact information. Um, so I learned the hard way after three moves that I need to be able to reach out to my customers other than just waiting for them to walk up to me and say, I need Avon products. Um, so you want to be collecting information um, either through your contact cards. So you can do that by doing a monthly giveaway or a customer appreciation drawing. Um, that way they fill out their information, um, hopefully their address, their email address, and their phone number so that you can contact them. Um, and then if you don't want to add an email program, you enter them right into your web office. So uh, if you have an event where you see, sell $0 worth of Avon products, but you collect 100 names, um, then consider that as a success because that's 100 people that you can start marketing to on a consistent basis. Okay, so customer leads. So I have uh, received these from people that have visited my blogs and uh, either said that they wanted a catalog or that they uh, subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, so again, I've only been doing that collection since um, November. So that's 4,000 people. And these are people interested in Avon. It's not just leads. Um, they are people who said I'm interested in Avon. Um, makeup marketers, that includes my whole team, plus you guys. Um, makeup marketing. So that, those are people from my makeup marketing blog, which is a little tricky because it could be Avon representatives. It could be people interested in selling Avon, um, or it could be people interested in buying Avon. Um, so that's why you have to be careful when you're collecting information that you know what type of customer it is. Uh, because right now it's hard for me to do marketing to that list uh, because it's different types of customers, uh, different types of leads. Um, so as you collect your audience, make sure that um, you're putting them in the right category so you know what material to send to them. Um, so my newsletter, I don't actually do a newsletter, but what they're doing when they uh, put their information in is subscribing to my email list. Uh, so then I do uh, email marketing. Um, I don't do uh, specifically a newsletter for customers or leads. Um, so recruiting leads. So those are people that have either visited my recruiting blog uh, or Alma leads that I have purchased. Um, so I'm starting to see really good results from this. Um, so all of last year, I invested a ton of money in Alma. I delegated those leads to my leaders. Uh, they definitely closed as many as they could, but I no longer have that lead information for those people who did not sign up. Um, shame on me because I spent a lot of money on those people and I can't continually market to them anymore because I don't have their information. So I learned my lesson there. So now I collect all of those Alma leads, put them into a list, and they receive my emails about uh, either buying Avon or becoming a rep. So what I can do outside of that Avon email program is I can come up with my own marketing emails that uh, highlight a product special, but then always include information on how to become a rep at the bottom. Um, because I always want to be saying buy or sell Avon from everyone that I come across. Um, so after all of that, <laughs> um, and in just in like five months, over 14,000 uh, names and emails in constant contact. Um, so uh, it's kind of mind boggling. It really surprised me when I went to put the, the slides together to give you guys that information. So I try to, to come up with my best tips here because uh, this earnings opportunity is um, number one. Okay. Um, sorry, I was trying to read there. Uh, 
my top 15 tips uh, because we may want to take a look at the way we're marketing and change things now that there's a bigger earnings opportunity um, with online sales. Um, so hopefully you guys all know what your auto email program is. Um, if you don't, I have a YouTube video on it, so check it out. By default, all reps are uh, registered for it to be on. Um, always be gathering leads, so whether that's face-to-face uh, -face with that contact sheet or it's people visiting your website, um, find a way to collect that information so that you can uh, be marketing to them until they're ready to purchase or maybe they want to unsubscribe. Um, so try to capture that information so that uh, that that lead is still connected to you. Um, use labels on your books. Uh, so besides online marketing, um, and I think Hazel uh, Smith has been really successful with tossing and having that label on her catalog about that discount um, for first time customers. Uh, so I'll include that template in our follow up email. Um, you want to be promoting your website on every catalog, every piece of marketing material you hand out. Um, so some people that don't want that human interaction can still shop with you and you can still get credit um, because you spent money on giving them that book. Um, so the ways you can collect info is a customer giveaway. You can have a catalog request page on your blog. Um, like you saw I have so many names of people that said they want Avon uh, that there's no way I could afford to mail them all that book. Um, so to be completely transparent and honest to them, I do put in that page, once you make a purchase, you will receive a catalog from me. Um, and that is the truth. I, I send catalogs to all of my online customers. Um, so find a way to collect their information, whether that's a catalog or a sample request, a newsletter subscription, or even those Alma leads you're buying. Um, so add them to a mailing list. Maybe your list is small enough that you can afford um, sending your list the catalog. Um, email is much cheaper than physical mailing. Uh, so get as many email addresses as you can. Uh, if you can't afford the catalog mailing, um, start building your email, email list. Um, and then sign up for your own. There's a lot of helpful marketing material that Avon puts out there um, that we may not see if we don't act as a customer. Um, check your own e-store. There's all kinds of content on there. Uh, I have found uh, in communicating with my team, uh, with leads, with customers, the more ways I can reach them, uh, the bigger influence I have. Uh, so I try to reach out to them through video, blog, social media, email, and text. Um, text, I'm very careful with uh, because sometimes I think text can be uh, annoying if, if it's unsolicited. <laughs> So I, I don't really do any texting um, with customers at this point. Um, I text my team, so if you guys think I'm annoying, you can tell me. Um, but I do that more for like uh, incentive tracking and kickstart tracking. So use an email marketing program if it makes sense. If you want to be able to control your message and you want to create your own marketing materials, uh, you may want to look into it. And on the next slide, I have a, a link for um, constant contact that I use. Uh, so you may want to consider a social media buffer. Um, so Lorraine, I no longer follow up with my Alma leads. Um, anyone that doesn't self-appoint, I delegate to my team members. Um, so what I do ask out of my leaders is if I'm the one buying and supplying the lead, I ask them to call, text, and email. Um, when I was following up on leads, uh, I would get really good closing ratio when I would do all three things. Um, so I would do all three of those uh, as soon as you get the lead, um, and then try again like the next day, um, and then space it out a little bit. You don't want to uh, 
annoy them. Um, but I would definitely, I would, I would text, uh, all my leads. Um, okay. So use your social media center, uh, allocate your time based on referral sources. Um, this question I get all the time. How do I convert Facebook followers? How do I get customers to shop that find me from Facebook? Honestly, I haven't had much success finding uh, customers from Facebook. Um, so if you do spend time doing what you're doing, but if you're looking at your top 10 referral sources and Facebook isn't one of them, don't spend uh, the majority of your time on there because it can uh, suck up all your time. <laughs> it can, um, and you can be on there and, and just get carried away being social and uh, may not be getting done what you need to get done. So that's just my uh, experience, but um, I know people have been successful on Facebook. Uh, where I have heard people getting customers is when they share to like those uh, community groups, the garage sales, the local um, groups, but make sure you read the rules and don't over post in groups too fast um, so that you go to Facebook jail. Um, customize your e-store, do catalog and sample mailings. Um, I'm almost done here, guys. I know I'm going a little late. Uh, so I do follow up with anyone who places an order on my website. They get the catalog for um, the following two or three campaigns. Um, I know you guys are going to tell me, well, they can add it to their order cart. Well, I know they can, um, but that takes an extra step. They don't always do that. They may not need something right away. So by the time I put them in to receive a catalog, maybe they're running out of their mascara or whatever it is. Um, People love the Avon catalog. Uh, figure out how you can incorporate that into your online business. And then you can also uh, search, if you do have a lot of online orders, you can search by what product they've ordered. Um, so you can find your fragrance customers, find your makeup customers, and send them samples based on their purchasing uh, behavior. Um, and then videos. Videos are huge. And uh, I've been trying to do more videos because uh, I think it gives more of a personal touch, uh, especially to my new team members, um, my virtual team that's all over the U.S. Uh, I can't meet everyone. So videos really help. Um, and I hope you guys are leveraging videos, too, because uh, when you're putting training material out there um, on videos, that actually works as a recruiting tool as well because people say, oh, she's you know a good leader. She provides training and tips and uh, it makes people wanna join your team. So uh, think about how you can use Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook Live to uh, make a bigger impact. And then um, also become a teacher. So I don't think I would have learned like, uh, a tenth of what I've learned if I wasn't like doing these webinars and trying to provide you guys training because it really challenges me to look closer at my business so that I can help and train you guys. Um, so I'm not going to go through this list. Uh, you guys can check it out. If you have questions, um, feel free to ask in the group. Um, so these are some of my favorite websites. Um, and constant contact is the email marketing I've been using. Uh, Mail Munch is the plugin that puts a newsletter and imports them right into the appropriate mailing group. Um, so, you know, these tools that can automate your business and save you time and make you more money, um, they're huge. So, uh, Gia, when I send out the recording, um, I'll also put a link for the handouts, um, which is a PDF version of all the slides. So you'll have that list there. Um, you can also find it in our files section of Makeup Marketing Online. Um, so those of you who are brand new and have no idea what I've been talking about, <laughs> um, everyone has a reference code. So you can send people to startavon.com. 
the end of your website is how people would sign up on your team. When you share those social media posts that are recruiting posts, um, those automatically link to you. So um, I like to use the startavon.com if leads are having trouble um, being assigned to me because it takes them right into the appointment screen. I also use, I like to use, um, go to startavon.com and use reference code ECGRIN. I like to put that on my paper materials um, because it's, it's not a long, ugly link <laughs> like the one that comes from your e-store. Uh, so you can also, from your e-store, there's a sell Avon uh, page which tells people more information if they're just kind of in the discovery phase. Okay, so your leadership priorities. Um, use all those incentives to motivate and track your team. Um, recognize your top sellers and recruiters. Um, have fun with them. Provide sales recruiting tips. Uh, encourage use of social media. Uh, make sure you're training on the programs, incentives, and news. You guys always feel like you have enough, not enough time in the day. Um, that's what I feel like. I, I think I could do like leadership activities all day, 24 hours, and still not uh, feel like I did everything. Um, oops, let me go back. Okay, and then just um, encourage meeting and event attendance. Um, some of the best ways to keep your leaders motivated, uh, team members recruiting, is to keep them uh, up to date on how they're tracking in the incentives. Um, and then use those incentives as recruiting tools as well. Um, so if you're new to make uh, to Team Momentum, um, I do offer all of my training for free to my team. Um, so every single Friday, I upload our team to my training site and you should get an email that says you have been given access to Avon training by Emily. It tells you how to access the training. Um, it's free, it's all online. Uh, so if you're on my team and you don't know how to do that, uh, let me know, I can uh, get you hooked up with that. Um, Makeup Marketers is where I have a lot of my free information. Um, and then Emily Segrin is more paid training. Um, I am not trying to take advantage of anyone. My goal by selling training is not to become rich off of Avon representatives. <laughs> I know I get judged and, uh, you know, critiqued by uh, a lot of people because I do things differently. Um, but I do want you guys to know that if you just want to participate in my free events and learn from me, um, that is completely fine. If you want to take a, a further step and purchase my training, um, that's fine too. It costs me money to produce it. It costs me money to have the programs to host it. Um, so I just, I just want to put that out there that I'm definitely not uh, trying to take advantage of my lovely fellow Avon representatives. Okay, so um, I have tons of videos on YouTube that are free. Uh, the training is more of a step-by-step -step and it's broken down into sections. So if you want really detailed step-by-step uh, -step, Go to my training. If you're just looking for ideas and tips, uh, check out my free stuff. Okay, um, that I believe is the end, maybe. <laughs> um, I'll open it up to, I think I have uh, my upcoming webinar, my webinar next week. So next week will be, um, uh oh, what's going on here? <laughs> um, okay, so next Thursday is my representative webinar where I focus more on sales and recruiting. Um, oh, it's taking me to my training. I must have clicked on it on accident. Okay, um, so register for next week's webinar. Uh, I'll put that in our follow-up email. 
um, boot camp if you are interested. The topics are going to be uh, time management, specifically online, uh, tips for selling more online, recruiting ideas, and Facebook tips. Uh, so how that works if you did not participate is it's all virtual. So you'll receive emails from me. Um, you'll be part of a Facebook group where I'll do daily videos to, to show you um, the, set, the marketing activities. So it has a sheet, here's your to-dos for the day, then there's interaction and my video to show you how to do it. Um, lastly, I am having a minor surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I always have funky medical problems, um, so I'm having a minor surgery on next Wednesday. So um, if I'm not available, hopefully all goes smoothly. I'm a little nervous because uh, I am being put to sleep for it, but uh, um, I'm sure it'll all go great. And uh, say a little prayer for me, and uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. And I'll be back to my crazy self um, next Thursday on the call. So uh, if I have to uh, postpone that or cancel it, I will definitely keep you guys all informed. Um, I hope you learned something new tonight. If you guys have questions, I know I went pretty long. Um, I hope you found the information helpful. Uh, type in any questions you have in the chat box. Oh, and we had Ava's ears pierced uh, last weekend, so that was really fun. She's been wanting that for like two years. Um, several team members start since C8. Can they sell the daily care flyer for the seven campaigns? My guess is that uh, if their first order goes in after the 18th when that starts, then yes, uh, but I will reach out to leadership and uh, ask that question for you. Um, the, and downloading the slides. Oh yes, Sally, um, I gotta uh, thank Samantha Kruger because she <laughs> um, asked if I was gonna be covering that code. Um, I knew I had a slide on it, but I hadn't added it. So um, I'll repost the slides, including that, that slide and that information um, in the group again. And then I'll also post the picture uh, that's actually in the email center. Um, how do you earn the 3% on new recruits? Um, so you have to place a, uh, at least a $50 order. Um, and then when they place their order, you should uh, be getting the 3%. Um, you do wanna sign up for direct deposit. Um, and if you don't have direct deposit, uh, leadership earnings and uh, bonuses go on a prepaid card. Um, if you have any questions or wondering why you're not seeing your bonus, um, call the leadership desk and they can look uh, specifically at your account. Um, is there a difference between leadership incentives and team earnings as in what our recruits help us earn? Um, so I, I'm not sure if I understand your question, but um, you can be earning a leadership check and not participate in the incentives if you don't want to. Um, I don't know if that's what you're asking, probably not. <laughs> Who is Facebook eStore guru? Um, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe uh, start a conversation in our Makeup Marketing Facebook group um, on what topic you're looking for help on, um, and hopefully we can start a conversation about that. Um, I am in a, a training pilot uh, that Avon is, is looking at rolling out. 
Um, so I am learning how to advance my uh, leadership and coaching skills. Um, so I'm always looking at trying to improve myself uh, to be a better leader and to pro provide better information for you guys. Um, so there are a lot of things new Avon is doing. Um, I know sometimes when we're out in the field and about, um, we don't hear from corporate, like it feels like they're not making progress or making changes, um, but they are. We just have to keep in mind uh, what a big company we're a part of and how many people are affected. So they have to be very careful, um, you know, as they make changes. Um, we want them to make changes that stick, not just a new program every year. <laughs> so I am already seeing uh, more earnings, which I think is what a lot of us were looking for. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, how can I send a catalog? Um, so the options for sending a catalog are either doing it yourself, um, which can get very pricey unless you get a bulk mailing license, which requires money and time as well. Um, I prefer to use Campaign Mailer. It is one of the recommended uh, websites on my page of referrals. Um, to me, it's completely worth the money. They mail the catalog for me. Um, based on my list size, it costs me about a dollar a person, um, which is well worth it for me. Um, yes, there is a lot of uh, confusing terminology in leadership. It can sound like a different language <laughs> when it's new to you. So um, just try not to overcomplicate it in your head. If you're brand new, you don't have any team members, just like don't even <laughs> don't even look at some of those slides. Uh, focus on bringing people into the business, having fun, and helping them get started. Um, the more you dive in and the more experienced you become, uh, the more you can learn about the the fine details. Um, and don't be afraid to call leadership and ask. Um, the only way. I still learn new things all the time and I still screw things up all the time. So uh, never be afraid to ask or tell a customer or a team member that you need to um, check with Avon before you give them an answer. Okay, yes, I saw um, Diane Hernandez. Um, I believe she sells at, uh, so she sells over 110,000, um, and I think she's completely online. I think that's all her online uh, sales. So she was supposed to be doing a, a webinar. Um, I do wish Avon Corporate would uh, be more consistent about how they're putting webinars out to us, because uh, I don't feel like we all get notified in time, and then I, I just feel like the communication is is lacking on those webinars, and it's hard to um, find them or find recordings. So hopefully, um, hopefully they work on that, so we see uh, can get that information if we can't attend. Clarify how often we have to place orders in order to stay a rep in good standing. Uh, I know that it it used to be six campaigns, um, six campaigns of inactivity, and they would close your account. But I'm going to ask you to check with your district manager <laughs> on that question because I don't. I know they made changes, and I I honestly don't know those rules right now. <laughs> Okay, do I have any leaders, uh, successful team members that are teachers? That's interesting. I do know um, Sarah Robbins, who is, uh, she's with Roden and Fields, but she has uh, a book that I love, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Um, she is a teacher that came into network marketing, um, and she makes six figures a month. <laughs> which is completely ridiculous. 
Um, and she used to be a teacher. Uh, so there is something about like that teaching connection, you know, the positive reinforcement and um, training, you know, there are a lot of similarities with teachers and leaders. Um, so I can see how teachers would be successful. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with you guys here. All right, Sierra. Just put in fourth order, did you say that I will be able to get the daily care collection? Um, yes. So uh, right now, um, new reps can have it four campaigns, um, and then they're switching it to seven. Um, as far as I know, again, it, you know, sometimes you hear conflicting information um, from leaders, from what the call center tells you, from what managers tell you so um ask around don't rely on me please <laughs> okay what is the name of the book it is sarah robbins she also has um she has a website and she has a really good uh so she has really good social media she has some free uh, YouTube videos that are good social media training. Um, she is how I discovered Buffer, which is a integral part of my business these days. So, um, you know, sometimes watching, let's see, let me look at what I'm writing for a second. <laughs> Rack your network marketing business. Um, also look her up on YouTube because she has some really good videos. Um, new reps will get to have seven campaigns, even if you've already had four campaigns with it. Okay, um, so it looks like this discussion was somewhere, probably on uh, Facebook. So um, hopefully, <laughs> I can help you find the information if you, if you don't find it. Uh, yeah, I thought the seven campaigns didn't start till April 18th, but maybe they confirmed it. Uh, Avon changed it, you know, they changed their mind too, so maybe they uh, changed what they said. Um, Sierra, is, is that Sierra from my team? Um, I can reach out to the guy who presented that. Yes, okay, Sierra, I will check on that. Um, daily care. Uh, and, all right, Amy's gonna call leadership tomorrow. Good deal. The only constant is change. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we can all always learn something. Uh, that's what makes Avon fun. I don't like boring, I don't like, same thing over and over and over. So <laughs> um, I love new information and, you know, social media and being uh, constantly uh, up updated. You know, sometimes that's a bad thing, but um, I like having information at my fingertips. <laughs> Is there going to be a refill for the diffuser? Um, I don't know what your talking about <laughs> so I don't think I have the answer um, maybe I, I I don't get very involved with the products much anymore um, because they've really turned the traditional sales over to employees so um, I'm not as up-to-date on products as I used to be when I was with them in you know in person every single day um, but I will let you guys uh, get off because I'm starting to ramble and I hope you found this uh, information helpful. Be looking for the email from me with the recording. Um, and Isabella, I see your question. So please uh, share it in our Makeup Marketing Online group um, and we can continue discussion there. Uh, be looking for uh, those files that we talked about in the presentation and the links. Um, I'll provide you guys all with uh, follow-up information. And uh, happy Easter. And uh, yeah, wish me luck on uh, Wednesday.
<laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.